Okay, we're here in the Quilt Barn. It's an air-conditioned barn on the fest grounds of the Kutztown Folk Festival. With us is Carol Heppy. She is the quilt director. She is the woman that knows and understands everything about these quilts, and she can explain to us. Carol, you have four that are hanging on the back wall here that will go to auction. They have blue ribbons. Can we start with the first one, and you can kind of explain a little bit about it. The uh, four best of show quilts that have the blue ribbons on them were the top point earners in our judging process. The one that you're looking at right now is a basket quilt. It has been entirely hand appliqued, and that means that the, f the flowers and baskets have been applied to the surface of the quilt. All of that is hand piece. This is one of, of a few that are machine quilted. The machine quilting on this was done by an individual who does an expert job with machine quilting. Uh, it was made in Allentown, Pennsylvania. The lady who made it is a perpetual winner here at the festival. Uh, can we move Okay, over let's move over to, to the next one. Go ahead. We'll follow you over. Okay. Here's a um, gorgeous looking piece right here. This piece, um, the lady who made this lives in Lebanon, PA. I call it a four square quilt. You can see the division in the quilt that makes four different sections to the quilt. It took her two years to make this. It is entirely hand appliqued and it is entirely hand quilted by one person, so it's called a single needle quilt. If you'll note the roses on the quilt, they have 25 pieces layered in each rose to give the shadings of color uh, that you may be able to see um, on this film. Uh, as I said, it took her two years. She took a pattern that was intimidating to her and she scaled it down to something she felt she could work with. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I imagine it's quite an honor to have one of your quilts end up on the back wall here as the four blue ribbon quilts, huh? It is, it is absolutely an honor to have anything in the quilt barn, but to get up here to the top four is extraordinary. Uh, the process of judging these quilts is very stringent and um, they deserve uh, the high awards. This piece is called a summer retreat. This was done by a gal who took really our top scoring position last year. And um, she had this in her brain at the end of last year's festival and went on a summer quilting retreat with friends. Very nearly had a nervous breakdown as she was drafting this pattern and working it out. And it was her friends at the retreat that encouraged her to continue on and um, put this piece together. And it is stunningly uh, sewn. It is again a single needle quilt. It has been entirely pieced by this lady and entirely hand quilted by her. As I said, she was our first place scorer last year and not by coincidence, this corner quilt here is made by her sister, who was also one of the top four last year. So these are sister quilts. First thing before we go explain that last one, I'm just going to sneak up here and take a look at the the stitching here, a close up, so people can really appreciate. This this is this is, is this done by hand? Are you telling me this is done by hand? That is that is the quilting is done by hand. That's incredible. It really is. Look at that. It's just incredible. And I mean, the, it truly the is. And the precision in the points here, if you can pan on that, if you look over the body of the quilt, every one of those points is precise. You know, that's something that if you don't know what you're looking at, you take for granted. But look at that, like right there, I'm looking where those points come together. That's a perfect cross, like a four star. That's amazing. It really is. Just, just astounding. Okay, so. Then the sister made this one. And her sister made this one. There's a little bit of competition between the two of them. They have a wonderful sense of humor. Uh, they actually quilt with their mother. Their mother has been their inspiration and they do get together with their mother and quilt with her. Uh, this, this one is called In a Pickle because the design is a very old traditional pattern. Um, this part of the pattern Right here, that curved piece with the triangles mm -hmm. in is called pickle dish. Pickle dish? Why yeah. is it called pickle dish? Uh, well, the old-fashioned cut glass dishes, the pickle dishes, okay, yeah. had 
had that curved kind of a design okay. in them. With the geometric triangles and then in them. And the, the other, the red and the brown leaves as they appear are, that's called Lover's Knot. And her title was In a Pickle because lovers often get in a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> and in the in the corners, let me see. There are little, little brown, little brown and red, um, like buds. It looks like no, uh, the the squares. Oh yeah, I see them. Yeah, right here. Yeah, she has a Hershey one. Kiss in there. She figured a piece of chocolate would help anybody who was in a pickle. Okay. Uh, they they just have a great sense of humor and enjoy their quilting. And uh, so this was again one of the top four in the in the competition. And again, it's a single needle quilt. It was made, pieced, and quilted entirely by one all, person. And all by hand. All by hand. So if you are the lucky high bid on a quilt like this, does it come with the folklore background, like the part you just told me about the Hershey Kiss and so well, forth? Well, right now I'm sitting here typing the letters okay. that go with them. Okay. And I we try to put the flavor of the quilt into each letter so that as each winner or uh, buyer of the quilt has something to remember it by. Yeah, a because little bit of the provenance. Yeah, these are truly heirlooms. You hand yeah. this down to the next generation. Hopefully. I could see the two of these. Am I off base here? If I was a, 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 a curator of a museum or a serious collector, to have the winning bid and get both of these particular quilts that are both blue ribbon quilts this year from two sisters, that would be rare indeed. That would be rare indeed. That's a good idea. Okay. Thanks, yeah. Carol. Okay. Best of luck at the auction. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Dave Klein here reporting for WBU Radio, Reading Eagle Company, Berks Country, and the Kutztown Folk Festival, of course, the Mountain Folk Show. I'm here with Carol Heppy, the quilt director. Last night I listened to you speak about the different quilts and so forth, Carol. Every year it's a big, exciting thing that goes on. Now, when do they actually take the quilts out to the, to the main stage area, the covered stage area, and begin to auction those off? Is that today or tomorrow? The auction takes place on July 6th, which is Saturday. It starts at noon. If you'd like to participate, come early, get signed up, and get your auction number so you can buy one of these phenomenal quilts. Okay, so the folk art that's represented here is absolutely astounding. You see traditional designs. You see some folks that try some new designs, like here's one with some uh, trout in it, which is actually pretty. It's not traditional, but it's very, very pretty. And then you see some with like a Christmas motif. So how does this work? The people can come to the air-conditioned barn, and they can see all of the quilts that are on display. If they want to see one that's over a, uh, one of the holders here, you guys will open it up, and will you sell it to them right on the spot? They don't all go to auction, right? No, they don't go. all go to auction. The top 24 plus our three wall hanging winners go to auction. But anything that's hanging on the racks is available for sale. And we have a staff of about 25 people who will open anything for you, whatever you please. Okay, so that's right in here at the quilt barn. So you can do cash on the, on the barrel head right here for the ones that are uh, hanging. Or go ahead. Visa or MasterCard. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Nowadays, in the modern age, we take Visa or MasterCard, too. That's wonderful. And tell us how the actual auction works for the top quilts. And first of all, how does a quilt get to be one of the top quilts? There's a process here. And then it finally it ends up out on auction. And just take us through the whole process. Well, the process actually begins the minute the quilter walks into the quilt barn at registration. We jury everything that comes in here. And then on the actual judging for the top 24, we have a staff of five judges who have a varying level of professionalism in the quilting industry. And uh, we work off of a rubric with 28 points, scored one to three points, the highest being three. We also have one to five on the wow factor. And uh, the top 24 are the top scoring quilts that are brought into the quilt barn. They're displayed around the ceiling of the quilt barn and, of course, go to auction. Okay, and then so the auction takes place under the covered main stage area, and how long does that last approximately? It usually takes about two hours. We do have 28 pieces that are being auctioned off, and it can get to be quite exciting when we have some motivated people in the audience who have a little bit of money in their pocket. Mm -hmm. I noticed through the years that there have been museums and archives that have sent people in here, and some of these quilts have fetched a very high price, but it's because they really truly are works of art all made right here in the United States with United States materials uh, really something that's keeping the tradition alive just tell us uh, 
the highest price ever in an auction that you recall? Um, the highest price was about eight years ago. It was a little bit over $15,000. That's not typical. We had two very motivated people. Uh, typically, a quilt will go for maybe $100 over its starting bid, up to maybe four or $5,000 if it's something that has people who are very interested. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is for the buyers that are looking for specialty in the collection or museum pieces and so forth. They're absolutely gorgeous. All of the quilts, though, in the barn are gorgeous, even the ones that didn't make it to the sort of final cut. I'm looking at a whole row of quilts here. They're priced $137, $245, $235, $235, and then there's some higher priced ones. But there's something here for everybody's price range if you want to take some of, some of this heirloom art home with you, right? There certainly is, and the wall hangings in particular are good for people who, who can't or don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a quilt. I think what is really impressive here is if the quilt is hanging on the racks here at the Kutztown Festival, it has gone through a very rigorous uh, inspection, and our buyers know that they're going to not only be educated about the quilt, but they know that the quality is there, and our staff is trained to show them the best points of a quilt that they're buying. I want you to know a little bit of trivia here about our radio station, WEU Radio, owned by the Reading Eagle Company. The radio station's a little bit more than 85 years old now. It's been involved with the Kutztown Folk Festival since the very first year. I have one of the first year programs in my collection of festival memorabilia. And there we are with an ad in there. And uh, I did actually from you some years ago, I'm sure you don't remember it, buy a lovely wall hanging quilt. And it hangs now in the lobby of WEU Radio. So all who come through WEU's hallowed halls have a piece of art to look at from the Kutztown Folk Festival. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Carol. Thank you.